Let's welcome our starting lineup from our Signal HD Spikers. Team captain wears jersey number eight, Israel Wilson Marasigan. At two, John Paul Bugawa. Wearing jersey number three, Owen Suarez. At number seven, Rex Emanuel Intal. Number 14, Louis Ramirez. And number 15, Mark Espejo. Libero, number 13, Manuel Sumangi. Head coach, Mr. Dexter Clamo. Presenting our NU Santa Elena Nationals. Team captain, wear jersey number 13, Ave Joshua Retamar. At number one, Angelo Nicolas Almendras. Wearing jersey number six, Michael Budin. At number 10, Obed Mukaba. Number 11, Kenry Malinis. Number 23, Jean Gerard and Franz Diaw. Libero. Number 8, Jan Mariano Sumagi. Head coach, Mr. Dante Alinsonuri. This is game one of the finals for the gold. May the best team win. Welcome back to the Paco Arena. These are the finals, and we have the starting lineup for the Signal HD Spikers. No surprises here, Neil. It's the same lineup for the HD Spikers, and Louis Ramirez has cemented his position yeah. there in the starting unit for Coach Dexter Clamor. And for the NU Santa Elena Nationals, it will also be the same starting unit that they have fielded in throughout this Open Conference. All right, let's see, Neil. You singled out a uh, couple of players earlier on today. Let's see if they will perform. Of course, we're talking about Marcus Pejo, Nicole Mendras on the NU side for our outside hitters. And let's see if Mokaba will show up today like he has in the past couple of games. And, of course, uh, JP Bugawan on the other side. And you, we mentioned also early that it is really the way that that signal has come together as a team. They gelled maybe midway through yeah. the conferences when they really um, felt that the, the cohesion, no? the cohesiveness. They had a lot of experiments in the, the starting unit throughout the preliminary round, but now they finally found that right mix of seven players on the floor. And these two teams are tied at one game apiece. First time around, Signal won in three sets fashion. The second time around, Santa Elena pulled off a classic reverse sweep. Yep. And that was a, a very exciting game. So we know that it can go either way. And yeah. hindi natin alam kung maikse or mahaba. But again, this is the championship round. So I'm sure the fans are also expecting uh, a lot of longer rallies here. It's a great first point you see there, one by a signal on the block. And we, as we mentioned, we expect a lot of action at the net. Number one and number two blocking team with the NU heading the back. And of course, Mukaba crediting uh, a lot of the, the points on the block to him. And uh, Udin, who has also really shown what he's about. Looks like Udin, a rookie, but has uh, really been coming out strong for NU. And actually, both of these teams get their first point off their defense. Both kill blocks for the HD Spikers and the Nationals to start off set number one. I it can go either way. We've seen both teams uh, sweep each other and take them to the limit. So let's see what kind of game we are going to uh, catch today. And we are glad that you are here with us enjoying this first part of the game. You notice, medyo mas maingay dito. The drums are out. The, uh, the cheering is louder. You're feeling the adrenaline probably also at home. But the finals came so quickly, no, Neil? And it's a jam-packed uh, crowd actually yeah. here on a Thursday afternoon. And I see some of the women's volleyball players of the Creamline Cool Smashers also present here to support men's volleyball. Of course, napanggit mo, malapit na rin, babalik na rin ang PBL very soon. But before that, they want to enjoy the action from Spikers Turf. It's two apiece here. And so far, it's been fit for that back and forth. And Budin there was blocked. Signal just doing what they uh, know at the net. 
That's a second block point for the AC Spikers. If you remember that five-set loss of signal against uh, Santa Elena, oh, um, eh. talagang uh, <laughs> pinukpok ng mga wing spikers yung depensa ng HD Spikers. That's why they lost that one. And parang grudge match ngayon eh, kasi nakita nga natin, sinira ng signal yung clean record ng NU sa elimination round. Let's see what gives. Of course, we're talking about Signal, the reigning champions here at the Spikers Turf. And you, on the other hand, they have their set of wins over at UAAP. They know what it's like to be champions. They have that champion mentality as well. Both of these teams definitely have that championship experience. But again, after a two-year hiatus of the Spikers Turf, this yeah. is going to be a very uh, different scenario that they will be facing. And really, this is something new for this NU team, this young NU team also playing in uh, this level, playing with the uh, with much, much more experienced players and really um, being able to just collect a lot more experience that they will bring with them come UAAP season. And aside from experience, they are also collecting a lot of kill blocks <laughs> here in set number one. Mukaba all over that ball of Isai Marasigan. It's four apiece and you're right, really, mostly from the uh, offensive block from the both squads. Oh, back row attack there, but that went into the net. We see Wirami is very aggressive, but Santa Elena will get that point. There's a low set from Owen Suarez, papunta kay Ramirez. Owen Suarez, by the way, ranked number one uh, setter after the elimination, so very talented setter. We have the Owa versus Owen showdown here with the setters. Ah, that was a quick one. This time, the blockers of NU could get there on time, and that's a point for Signal. Evening things out at five apiece early in this first set. Yeah, that can be the factor that can make all the difference. Whoever gets their middles involved better in their system will eventually come out on top. We know that Santa Elena will live and die by their two wing spikers <laughs> in Budin and Almendras, but for sure, Signal will also have their own set of adjustments. Especially, they came from that reverse sweep loss. Yeah. So, adjustments in terms of defense will be very notable for the HD Spikers. So, Diao and Mukaba also has to get involved in the attacking picture so that Oaretamar can be very creative in setting up their plays here in the finals. We saw that last play there, that joust. It was actually an error in the set. Luckily for NU, they won that joust, but... You know, it's so malabaligan lang eh. Matatapos yata tayo ng ganito ng first set, <laughs> ano, na walang lalamang. Six all now. Coach Dante Alonsinurin is actually contesting that the, it was an overreach. It was an invalid set from Suarez. Kasi galing siya sa back row. One more time on that. Nice and slow. And I see Neil nodding his head, so you are uh, sang ayon ka naman sa tawag ni Rep. That was a correct call. But Budin will get that point right back from that back row hit. Santa Elena now is just a point uh, lead. Great offensive play there. Coming from Enus Malin is there. Redamar going for Nicole Mendes who hits it off the block and he scores his first point for Santa Elena. And gets Enu to eight points first in our technical timeout. Signal down by just two points. We'll be back.
Dati ginusto ko lang magpa-picture ngayon. Kakalabanan ko na sa Grand Final. Sinang sabi sa akin ng NU Bench Turn Superstar na si Boots Butin when it came to facing his volleyball idol Mark Espejo on the court. When they first lost in the preliminary is a signal, Mark Espejo actually came up to Boots to challenge him for the rest of the season. Araw-araw dong di makatulog si Boots. Kakaisip kung paano niya ma-outsmart at ma-outscore ang signal. It turns out that it just takes heart and patience to give a blasting performance throughout the season. Hoping to fight the pressure and to minimize errors, let's see how NU will start this game this at one. Thanks so much, Ai. Great stories. We love to see how these players motivate themselves and really who their inspirations are. From our birthday girl, happy birthday to Alexis inside tomorrow. Back to the game here. Santa Elena still with a one-point lead. And Signal gets the ball back. Marcus Pejo, we're expecting a lot from this guy. Talked about him earlier today at the pregame. Aside from the scoring output of Marcus Pejo, he will heavily be relied on in terms of reception because when you look at the statistics, every single game, I mean, both of the games rather, that's a double digits rin siya in excellent receptions. But Kenry Malinis will also be a name to look out for here sa Nationals. He's been quiet in the semifinals compared to the wing hitters, but he hasn't been getting more attempts. So let's see kung paano papaikutin ni Oareta Mar yung mga attackers niya today. This Malinis has proven to be a very efficient player. He does his job. He's a quiet operator. You see, he has such a high reach. Once again, he's still dead for that. Santa Elena leading by one. But Signal gets the ball back. We talked about J.P. Bugawan in the pregame also. A lot to expect from this middle. And an ace. First one we've seen today. For J.P. Bugawan, 6'3", from Pangasinan. Shout out to all of his fans, the Pangasinenses, who are watching. Signal HD Spikers cheering their Kababayan J.P. Bugawan on. Tamar going for Budin, who hits it off the block. Good enough for a point. Budin, a smart player. He just goes basic. He knows that he will be challenged every time. And you can just see how steady yung uh, left pin spikers ng Santa Elena and you. They are the target of the serves of the HD spikers, but they're up to that challenge. They actually get a lot of excellent receptions, and they transition immediately to their offense. So that says a lot about the skills of these players on the floor. Now this will be a chance ball for the HD Spikers. Let's see who Suarez goes to from the back row. And that one's a little too strong. Say Marasian had the right idea, wanted to go deep. But just a little too much there. A little adjustment. He'll get it next time. I'm sure makakakuha pa yan because we know also uh, once Suarez trusts in Marasian, yeah. Isai gets a lot of touches. Although Coach Dexter wasn't happy with that last play of mm. Suarez, he actually has uh, two attackers in the front line, talking about Intal and Ramirez. So you have to utilize them first, and then when they get their groove going, that's the time you can activate your pipe attack. Well, he made up for that, but he's at the net, obviously. So Rex Intal still... Uh, was not able to contribute, although that was a great looking kill. <laughs> that one off the block again. Both teams using that strategy, hitting it off the hands of the blockers. And when you jump that high, for sure you can choose a lot of different angles to score the point for your squad. Nice reception there by NU. And uh, trick Ooh. play. I don't know if that was the intention of Ken Malinas, but he scores anyway. Crafty yeah. drop ball from Kenry Malinas. Big lead, considerably. I mean, uh, considering how it has been this uh, first set. Three points already. Lamang, ang Santa Elena. We're saying big because it has been nip and tuck, neck and neck, all set long. This is the biggest lead so far, yes. though, for the Nationals at three. 
And again, just hitting out the block. Kinebudit, sayang, got my hand on that. Ramirez just using pure force against yeah. Obed Mukaba. And then you see from us fans looking at the, the way the outside hitters go for the attack, you can fill us in, yeah. Neil. When you really go all the way down, yung pagka ang, ang palo mo is pababam, pababa, you're hoping that it hits, what, just off the hands of the blocker? Just off Nama? the hands. Yeah, yeah. And uh, sometimes you just need to power through. Because uh, pag alam mo ng sarado na, you will just find the smallest of cracks <laughs> to put it through the defense of your opponent. But Marcus Pejo finally gets his first point of the match. And we also know Neil, if you as a power hitter, as the outside hitter, kung lakasan mo at tamang tama ang ang timing ng blocker, ganon din ang balik ng bola. <laughs> so it's really a it's really a risk you take. Talk about timing at the net. I mean, that is what we know these teams are very talented in. Really, it is a, going to be a, a blocking spectacle here. We're going to see how both teams perform at the net. Santa Elena's lead is down to two, but still, it's a close first set. 14 12, the score. Boots Budin. Hello, Palawan. Puerto Princesa native. Making a name for himself here in Spiker's turf. Oh, but struggling a little bit there on defense. Isai Maracia has come up big. There were some consistency issues in some of the ball games, but come the semifinals, nakita natin yung MVP performance also ng isang Isai Marasigan. But they're still trailing by one point. That's a nice reception, Ratamar putting it up. Almendras, he was trying to iniwasa sa na blocker. Too wide on the push yeah. also. We know what he wanted to do. Again, earlier we highlighted both Nico Almendras and Marcus Pejo still relatively quiet. Rexental with the second serve. And just with a nice reception there. Perfect first pass. Mukaba. Mendra's going up. Off the block. Second point. And he knows when to challenge the yeah. block and when to give it that proper spin. So he is getting his points. Just uh, nothing spectacular. Just basic hit off the, the hands of the blockers. Time it right. Steady player, Nico Almendras, and that's a service error. Too long for Mokaba. Signal at 15. Santa Elena at 15. Isai Marasigan back at serve. Good reception. Wow. Great blocking effort. It's not as easy to block a pipe attack, but Signal knows what to do. We'll take a quick break on the second technical timeout. Lang, minsan nandun na sa Malinis. Bigay ka pa sa iba, bigay ka pa sa iba. Saka may isip na, ay, kaya pa rin ni Louis si Malinis. Doon muna tayo sa sigurista. Ha? Doon muna tayo sa sigurado. JP, nakita mo na yung problema mo. Kailangan mo ibaba yung paliwa para sa kanila. Ha? Kasi minsan pinapalo lang ng manipis. Ha? Kasi pinalo ng manipis, make sure nakareach over ka para block sa kanila. Okay? Tuloy lang. You're doing good. Tuloy lang. Good job sa blocking. Hey! Pag nasa likod, pag na, eh listen, pag nasa likod, ah, didepensa ako kahit ano mangyari, kahit galing ka ng service, didepensa ako para mas madali yung trabaho. Ha? Oh, let's go, 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 let's go, 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 Back at the Paco Arena, this is game one of the final signal up by just a point, 16-15 is the score. And we are getting ready to hear from our fourth side reporter, Alexis Tinsai, from the signal side. 
we uh, quite to briefly discuss matters with the signal captain Isai Marasigan who had 14 points last game and he told me that today's finals will remind them how significant it is to go back to the fundamentals. Isai knows that the young guns of NU Santa Elena is talented via skill set. So it's all about executing maturity in single side of the court, which is a factor to their advantage given their years spent growing their team together. Last season's MVP seemed a bit quiet this season, but has delivered quite well during the crucial moments of the semifinals. Okay. Isai said it's about delivering what's been talked about during training. It's simply putting action into your words. Let's watch the rest of set one back to the panel. Thanks so much, Ai. That's right. A lot of maturity Santa Elena has already gained from day one of this conference. And it has really paid off for them. That's why they're looking so good here. Uh, undefeated in the semifinals. Just one loss in the entire conference. Talking about the nationals, of course, of Santa Elena. Signal with a one point lead. 17 16 is the count. This has been a very uh, tightly contested first set, just as we expected. Marcus Bear with a jump serve into the net. And that's a point for Santa Elena. It's always going to be high risk when you go to these jump serves of Marcus Pejo. But every time that serve goes in, that's the time that he hit the receivers of the Nationals. Now we're tied again at 17. And a while ago, you saw Nico Almendras just above the blockers. Again, very simple play for Santa Elena. There was even a three-man block established by the HD Spikers. But as Ayi said, the execution yep. is something that they wanted to really perfect coming into this gold medal match. And we see practically every offensive play challenged on both sides. Just there, the three-man block is a, I know, is a very uh, common occurrence. Parang we're used to seeing really that kind of challenge on both sides. So as a, an outside hitter or an opposite, your, your offensive plays have to be really, really creative. That's a good play from Retamar, activating uh, that back quick from Diao against the single blocker in Luis Ramirez. And look at Rexental. Hindi na masyadong binabantayan because they know the tendency of Owa to give a lot of balls to that left pin. So, good set from Retamar. And this is going to be a chance ball for Signal. Outside set there, Luis Ramirez making two. Oh, that was a little bit off time. A little bit of a challenge for Suarez to put up that ball there. Good enough for Ramirez, couldn't quite deliver. And that's a point for Santa Elena. Bantay na bantay din talaga eh. the, the blockers are just, uh, they have such good ball sense. Diao at the serve. Nice reception from Mark Espejo. And it's those blockers again. It's such a, uh, talaga a thorn on the side of the outside hitters. Hindi makaporma. <laughs> And you now with a two point lead. 2018, we have a timeout. Hello, hello. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Oh, dalawa lang yan. Kuhan mo na natin. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Eh, ganito nga. Kumili kay lahat kay Owen ha. Pag maganda yun. Isipa. Para nalito lang din yung lakas. May pasa, may pasa. Hey, signal! Signal! And look at this last play. Great decoy there. But really, the blockers, parang... I can imagine how much uh, studying both teams did, how much tape they watched uh, coming into this, these finals and really getting to know the different plays and the different tendencies of the setters and their formations, the system that they, uh, that they play by. And it's evident that both teams really did their homework. And the reaction time of the blockers, just uh, really amazing. <laughs> Sometimes you would think Machado ng late to close up that gap left by the left or the right pin. But the middle blockers of both of these teams will exert so much effort. That's why they are rewarded with these block points. And of course, as we talked about early on, they don't only score on the block points, no? They really contribute also with their uh, kills.
And here's a chance here. And then just putting the ball up there for Molinas, hitting it off the hands of Pintal and Ramirez. The first attack should always be very convincing because we know that both of these squads are high IQs when, it, when we yeah. talk about attacking. So when you give a soft first attack, the transition play of the other team would definitely be a stronger hit. So that will um, create more difficulties in your defense. And it's all about anticipating all these things. It's like chess. You have to be one step ahead with two very smart teams. And you can see what Budin is doing, just hitting it at the highest point. Saktong sakto lang sa kamay ng middle blocker ng Signal HD. And the trajectory ang taa, so it will really be hard to follow up on that uh, rebound. And you can just really see his reach. I love watching these uh, slow mos, especially here in Spiker's turf. Dahil ang bilis ng mga pangyayari at ang tataas ng mga talon at ang, ang, uh, yung mga tusok ng mga palo nila. So uh, you'll really see the, the form, the, uh, the skill, the approach, the attack of these players in the slow mos. And really, really very impressive. Would be in Defensive substitution for Coach Dexter Clamor Bonono will be serving for Ramirez. So Suarez will be left with uh, three attackers on the floor, Marasigan, Intal, and Espejo. That's a good first ball. Natamar going back to Budin. Oh, talk about efficiency. It's a great reception and a kill for Boots Budin. Inspired volleyball. Yeah. Talking about Budin going up against one of his idols. Yeah. He does a signal HD. He's doing everything that he's, he can to actually close this first set for Santa Elena. He's not only going up against his idol, he is impressing his idol. And actually posing as a threat to Mark Espejo. Who goes up now, pushes the ball in. Great save by Sumagi. Almendras making do. Look at that, a broken play, still a point. Locking nowhere to be found on the floor for the Signal HD Spikers. They always have that double block. Pero lagging may butas dun sa gitna. Yeah. And that is where the exploitation begins for the wing spikers of the Nationals. And a quick timeout by Signal. Kailangan dumikit ka talaga si Isay. Nakatapat na si Isay sa Spikers. So kung nakadikit ka, lock ka talaga na yun. Lock, lock talaga yung malaban na yun. Okay? Hey, gusto. Pagtagaan natin. Walang imposible. Walang imposible. Hindi pa tapos. Kuhanin natin to. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, signal! How important really these games are. See, uh, Coach Deck, Deck's talking like it is the it's match point. <laughs> he doesn't want to let go of even one set. He's saying, Chagain natin ito. Because, ayo mo talaga ng pagbiyan ng NU. And they fought hard to get here, but this pull away by Santa Elena with now a four point lead, three ma uh, set points for them. Let's see if Signal can hold the NU Nationals. Boots Budin here just showing his uh, efficiency in this first set. What a serve, but great up there by Sumang. And that one is called inside so fast. Things happen very quickly. Signal salvaging that first set point. Credit Sumang Gid there with a great defense. Rex Intal, pressure serve. Passing short. Almendras will go up. Block. That one is outside. Almost. Isai Parasiga was hoping it would fall back into the court of the Nationals, but no go. And NU wins this first set with this last play. Off the block again. A little off position. And Almendras takes that first set for. The NU Nationals. 25 21 is the score. We will unpack that first set after the break.
volleyball that they've played. Pero balita natin kay Tots, ang uh, PBL players hindi naman tumitigil sa kanilang training. <laughs> also si Majoy Baron enjoying the game between Signal and Santa Elena. It's always nice to see the women's volleyball players come out and support the men's because you, it's not often that you see the spikers turf yeah. back talaga. Uy, for all of you who are looking for uh, live Spiker Surf action, meron pa po. We have uh, a couple, couple more days, at least one more day to be sure because this is a uh, best of three final. So make your way out here as we take a look at the highlights. Seeing all of this action live, there's nothing like it. And set number three went the way of the Nationals. And it was really Obed Mokaba who gave that separation in that tail end with that back-to-back -back blocks. You know, it was interesting because we were just uh, noticing and commenting how he has uh, been silent. He was quiet and really not much of a factor the first couple of sets, and then he just exploded. And for Signal, um, they had blocking as well. They had four blocks kagaya ng sa Thailand and you, but they weren't able to close out. Isa lang naman yung lamang ng Nationals sa atake and sa serve, but that was the two points na ikipananalo nila. That was 25-23. Yeah. And we see how both teams really uh, knowing what to do or trying to be uh, more uh, creative and unpredictable. The, the setters, it's really on their shoulders because when you have such efficient blocking teams that we see, number one, number two, with, of course, uh, NU on top, kailangan talaga gagawa ng paraan pa paano mo lalagpasan and we've seen both um, setters trying to go to the back row and trying to drop uh, balls on uh, their one-two plays that we don't expect. I mean, you gotta you gotta get really, really creative. And actually, in set number three, we didn't see so much pipe attacks from both of these teams for Santa Elena and you. The left pin has been doing wonders for them. So Joshua Retamar is really milking that position, especially when Owen Suarez is in the front line. And let's see. Set number four, underway here. And is that inside again? We have to consult the life judge. Says it is in, down the line there for Marcus Pejo. I'm not sure if that's intentional, but if you notice the sets of uh, signal papunta sa left pin nila, medyo malayo sa net. I'm not sure if the spikers are asking for a little bit more distance, mm. dahil nga, Pasok na pasok na yung mga kamay ng blockers. But knowing Mark Espejo, he really prefers yung medyo mas malapit sa net so that he can go to his sharp cross court angle. And meantime, Enchica there could not keep the ball. Uh, it checked there. Or was it one more time on that play? Enchica just uh, was not able to get the ball back up. And it's now one all. You're talking about the kinds of uh, sets that these players prefer. Although we know Mark Espejo had to make something out of nothing. So, kahit ano pa ibigay mo kay Mark Espejo, he is able to do something about it. The Subagi, frustrated. The barrel of NU there found uh, a little bit confused, a little bit uh, not ready, which is rarely the case. Usually, maganda yung cover nila ng mga blocking. And tama na yung position ni Subagi. Uh -oh. That's why you saw his reaction uh -oh. Uy, after sayang. that botched uh, <laughs> attempt on that pass. And Mokaba has found his rhythm. And he's going to continue to be a threat for NU here. Signal has to figure out how to stop him. That's really the risk that they're going to take, talking about the blockers of Signal. You single up on uh, Obed Mukaba so that you can establish a double block against Nico Almendras. And that was the angle that I was looking for for Marcus <laughs> Peo. And he can only do that if you put that set in that perfect position. And it seems to be the right one that works against the two-man block. Kasi yung angulo, no? Naiiwasan niya yung three-man block even. Or this time, dalawa yung nakasabay sa kanya. And just the, the speed of the execution of that offensive play. Almendras going up now, just hitting it off the hands, nice and easy by Nico Almendras. And it's three up. It's a must win situation now for Signal HD with NU up by two cents.
Mendes is just toying with the blockers of Signal at this point. <laughs> Okaba. And that one's outside. Still, service is a problem for NU. And Signal will get a point and the lead. Again, a must win situation here for Signal HD. Of course, this is a best of three finals. But, siempre, iba na yung makalamang ka. So far, with the encounters of these two teams, they have split uh, their wins. Retamar winning the joust against Ramirez. It's for all. It's going to be that kind of set. Just neck and neck, just like the first set that we saw. Ah, service ace. Retamar finally getting one. We're talking about the number two and number one uh, serving teams of the league. So it's really surprising to see the many errors that uh, they have lapsed into today. But Retamar already trying to turn things around with that service ace. Let's see if he can get a couple more in here. Luis Ramirez with a nice reception there and a swipe. Off of Diao's hands. Signal will also have a change in the libero position. Santi Montero will be replacing Manuel Sumangid. And this is the first time Montero is actually seeing action today. Remendras that goes into the net. A little bit uh, challenged there. Struggling with that set that was given him. It was such an awkward possession yeah. or awkward set to hit. Suarez with a safe serve there. And a quick. The man just looked like he was going for, or rather, Retamar looked like he was going for Malines there. Let's see if Malines gets another shot. Signal will recycle. Oh, the second hit. Great read by Retamar. Free ball. What a rally. Ah, I thought it was just a decoy play there for uh, Giga, but he ends up scoring for Signal. And there are also empty spaces dun sa mga corner pocket ng Santa Elena NU, so it was a good decision for Chumason and Jiga. na medyo hindi idik-dik yung bola sometimes when you hit it so hard, pero nakaposition pa rin naman yung mga defender, they would easily pick that up. And this is Malinas again getting another chance, but he is blocked solid. And Chiga Marasigan, just that double block effort, gets signal to eight points first with Santa Elena at five. Three point lead by the HD Spikers. We'll be back after the break. Kaya ako pinapatalagit dito, hindi dahil walang receive si, ano, si Gomez. Yung tendency nilang ano, ng play lagi nila. Pag, kasi pag nandito ang receive, nahihirapan silang dito. Kasi kung nandito, taong-taong nila alam nang gagawin niya, kayang-kayang laruin. Pero dito, hirap na hirap siya. Okay? So, next time, okay? Pero pre, tatlo lang yan. Kuplayin sa natin lang ka problema. Kasi receive, kasama nila yung receive. Okay? Bawi tayo sa receive, kaya nakamay nyo naman. Pag nakita mamaya, mataas, bitawan nyo. Pag tumalong kayo, bitawan nyo. Back at the Paco Arena, this is set number four. Must win set for the HD Spikers. We talked about Marcus Pejo and Nico Almendras earlier in the pregame. And let's see if this matchup has been living up to our expectations. These are the upsta updated stats so far in this ball game. 11 attacks for Marcus Pejo, 14 for Nico Almendras, and that is correct. This is the past, and uh, this is the present and the future of men's volleyball here in the Philippines. And just so much excitement, so much promise really for the future of Nico Almendras, who has been playing all hard today. And really just the leadership also, you know, I, we couldn't help but uh, also eavesdrop on that last huddle 
of the NU Nationals. We don't see their their play board, but they're talking specifically about players. What the, what certain players of Signal uh, are strong at their weaknesses, their nuances. Tamaka, they really study these things and really predict tendencies of their opponents. Para alam nila mahanap nila yung weaknesses ng mga uh, kalaban nila. And they continuously learn from each other's systems. I mean, you can learn some a thing or two about the blocking ng nationals, and you can learn a thing or two pag tinitingnan mo yung opensa ng Signal True. HD. It's always going to be a give and take also, and uh, it will all boil down kung paano mo ma-execute ma ma execute oh. at may incorporate yon your own style of play. <laughs> you know, that's right. I mean, uh, a couple of times we've seen the exact same combination plays happen on both sides of the court, and you don't know who uh, did it first. Pero tamaka, you just learn from your opponents and you do best practices. Ko ano yung mukhang umuubra? Bakit hindi gayahin? Budin. And he just, he, all day hitting it off the block. Of signal. Uh, even against Isai Marasigan, he manages to score. For the Nationals, that's why hindi ako nagugulat na kahit 3-4 points ang na-establish ng Signal HD, madaling na habol yon ng Santa Elena NU. And you're right about that. They're only one point. Make that two points behind after that service error by Diaw. Of course, we have na the Nationals uh, ahead here by one set, but if there is something that may cause the undoing of the Nationals, it's really the problems with their serves. And we can't mention it enough, but it really has been glaring today. Marasiga and his dog, but that was not good enough. Ball sails out. Marasiga will score. 11-8 count. Signal has to win this fourth set if they want to keep going. A rocket of a hit. From Isai Marasigan from the opposite side of the court. Again, Signal has a three point lead. So they have to be able to take care of that to force a fifth. That's right. It's a must win fourth set. Kailangan alagaan yung lamang, sabi nga nila. Meantime, and you nationals just really have to. Watch their serves. But Asigan will go up again. He's just blocked solid. Look at that. Budin and Mukaba. Perfect timing. I guess uh, Enyu is one of the teams that is really a master of adjustments in game. Isai Marasigan scored yeah. once, but immediately Enyu follows up with a kill block. Just Marasigan goes right into the hands of the blockers there. One and of the things that I noticed dito sa side ng Signal, they're one of the best receiving teams, but they have a lot of um, opportunities na makakuha ng pass na hindi nila nakoconvert. Mm. And as I said, uh, that three-point lead is now gone for Signal. Just like that. And you know, that was something that Coach Dex made the point of and also Marcus Pejo talking to his teammates earlier. Tama ka eh. The reception is uh, there. Maganda yung bigay. Pero nahihirapan mag-convert. Mostly kapag nagmamadali sila. Big signal again. Have to settle down. And just really get their, find their rhythm once again. Santa Elena now leading in this fourth set. That's a four-point run for the Nationals. See if they can regroup. What does Suarez do? Goes to Marasigan again, who finds a hole. Great pancake save there by Malinis. Suarez with a quick. Sumagi got a piece of that ball, but could not keep it in play. And there's what the, the signal has to do, really, is to trust that their offensive plays will be good enough. Right now, all the pressure is on the side of our defending champions. They're playing catch-up. Yeah. You hear the crowd really getting into, into it here at the Paco Arena. 
Wow, look at that. Routine. And that's a great effort by uh, Montero, Sandy Montero, who is playing Rivero for signal now. And but then he hits it with so much power against the block of Owen Suarez. Na pag nagkaroon ng rebound itong signal HD, sobrang wild bola. Hindi mo alam kung saan pupunta. Mahirap habulin. And that's why Santa Elena is still with the lead here. 13-12. And you're right, if you're signal, ayaw mong makawala itong NU dahil mahirap maghabol with the Nationals. See, si Mokaba has already found his rhythm. He is already uh, contributing much to NU. Oh, look at that effort by Suarez. Ball still in play, a joust. Mokaba oh. tries to put it away. And Rui Ramirez will regret that when they watch the tape later on. And not a good time to commit that miscommunication error. He already had the help of the net para mapabagal yung atake. One more time on that. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, you always have to call for your ball. Yes. It could have been either Manasigan yeah. or Ramirez. It was an, a slow enough ball to pick up. And that's just a costly error for Signal. Santa Elena now up by two. Cargado, pero ang gandang reception in. Mark Espejo, grabe, grabe. Whether it's on the right side, the left side, just the blocking of NU, seeing them through. And you can see the conditioning and yung tibay lang talaga ng Santa Elena NU as a collegiate team. Sometimes, even in these types of tournaments, mas solid talaga yung one unit compared to a mix of players from different systems. And right now, Bodin is the star for the Santa Elena NU Nationals with that service ace. And we will enter our second technical timeout with NU up top by four. Sixteen-twelve, NU Santa Elena with a four-point lead. Things are coming undone for Signal. What is happening, Neil? You know, that's a big four-point lead. I mean, the blocking of and you kicking in at the right time. And you have that man to thank, Obed Mukaba. And this was our player matchup in the pregame. Mukaba against JP Bugawa. This is just their updated output so far. 11 points for Obed Mukaba, 12 points for JP Bugawa. And si Mukaba really just uh, catching up here because he was uh, really not given a lot of touches early on, but once things got started with Mukaba, there's just no stopping this 22-year-old. Right now, I would say that mas fluid lang talaga yung ginagalaw ng Santa Elena, especially in the digging department. Both of these teams don't have high statistical categories in that department kasi matitiba yung blocking. But every time nakakalampas yung atake ng signal, Maganda yung defensa na pinapakita ng Rivero in Sumagi. That's why they're able to transition, transition. to their counter-attacks. Yeah. Marquez Pejo, it's now game time yeah. for the Phenom. We saw that service ace. Oh, and a second one into the net. But we do see his game face on. We feel the intensity of Marquez Pejo even during their huddle. Almost taking on the uh, coaching chores and really reminding his teammates to look for the weaknesses of the other team. And you're looking at the three-point deficit on the side of Signa. Hindi mo pwedeng madaliin. You have to take it one point at a time. They get a bonus point from that botched first pass from their libero. And really, this uh, mistake Signal cannot afford to make at this juncture. They are trying to play catch-up against Santa Elena. They need to win this fourth set. 
in order to get to that deciding fifth set. Almendras just keeps coming at Signal. 28 excellent digs for Signal, 24 for NU. And Signal just has to find their blocking, make sure they time their blocks right because Almendras knows what to do when he is challenged at the net. That was a great hit from Nico Almendras. So much control in the top spin, control in the angle. I mean, what else can I say? Almendras is really delivering for his team today. And talagang every time he goes up, it's a th three sets of hands in his face. But he really just knows how to get past them. Luis Ramirez's turn now. And that one, too deep. He knew he wanted to go to the back and try to kiss that uh, headline, but he missed it. And Santa Elena now cruising with a four-point lead. Although it looks like we have a, an injury here. Budin is uh, trying to help out Retamar off the court. We have a timeout. Now is the time we turn to an expert like Neil Flores who will translate for us that huddle. Second the ball, uh, no, second ball better the ball. But before you yep. talk about that, let's uh, take a look at Retamar here. If he's able to get back up, it might just be a case of cramps. He is cramping. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of prolonged rallies. Uh -huh. Here so far in the gold medal match, and uh, he knows that they're near that 25 point mark. So, kailangan siya ng Santa Elena NU. Now, for signal, that's correct. I just noticed that the passes have been short. Mm. So, it's very hard for the setter to go for his combination plays. Pero sabi nga, ni Coach Dexter, pag na receive na, wala na tayo magagawa. So, as the setter, you have to find a way, the best as you can, to set up a good one for your teammate. Speaking of setters, we have Asia now uh, doing setter duties for Signal. And it looks like it's a magandang punot yon. Camposano again has been flawless. Every time he gets the ball, he scores. He was a former uh, NU Bulldog, so mm -hmm. familiar with the mga players on the floor. So every time Asia and Camposano are on the court together. Good things happen for Signal. So we expect to see more of them in this, uh, the remainder of this fourth set. And maybe the fifth, if Signal is able to play catch up. They're down by three. And just that quick push by Marasigan. Signal showing their old form now. And try to take control of this game. Signal just has to keep on attacking the defense of NU because somewhere along the road you will eventually find cracks in the defense that you can actually exploit. But now Santa Elena will call for time. Let's listen in. Okay, Signal seems to be finding their groove and you needing to call that time out just to really maybe change the momentum here. Signal still trailing by two though, and they need to win this fourth set. Outside set two. Malinis, ball, ball still good. Ball is still good. Signal recycles. Marasigan is dug. One more chance for Signal HD. What will Suarez do? Marasigan again. Goes soft. Diao gets a hand on it. And we have a rally. Suarez back set. Marasigan for a third time. And you. Going oh. for it. 
that gut shot. You wow. Have to give it to the defense of the Nationals. Popping wow. up all the attacks of the HD Spikers in that last rally. And really, Almendras, we heard in their huddle that tahanapin na tahanapin din ni uh, Ratamar si Almendras, whether nasa kaliwa, nasa kanan, because he has really been delivering all day. And Santa Elena now enjoying a three-point lead late in this fourth set. Willa Ramirez again stopped by Retamar. Sumagi putting the ball up from back oh. row. Again, Almendras does everything, everywhere, all at once here. And again, and then half that point to the dig of Joshua Retamar. Looks like they've prepared very well for this specific match. And yung ay sinasabi ko, Signal will find that small crack in the blocking pattern of NU, pero nakahanda yung mga diggers in the back row. And they have a higher chance in converting transition plays. It's gotta be quick plays like that for Signal. Just before NU even gets organized, and before they get their system going, their defensive system, you gotta get them when they least expect it. I think that's what Signal has to, to find, just really create surprises for NU. And you just need four points to get game number one of this gold medal match. And you can expect these four points to come from Budin and <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> Budin scoring their 22nd point. Joshua Retamar. Yeah. You grab. Again, a second bout of cramps in just a, with just a few minutes in between. It looks like this is a crucial, really. This is going to be a game changer because Retamar has been in control here for NU. He's going to try to fight it out, try to walk it off. Good thing it's he's in the back row because uh -huh. if he's in the front line and he's up to block, that will expose a lot of uh, holes in the defense of NU. And that push, even these easy points that Marcus Bell should be getting, he is unable to deliver. They do get the check, check ball, says the first ah. referee. I think that's what uh, Espejo is also expecting. And there was a clarification well, on yeah. that first call. And you have to be careful with your conduct with the referees because remember, Jao Manda got the penalty. He didn't play one set against Signal for bad conduct, and you don't want that to happen in the gold medal match. Not at all. Although we know it also gets heated, emotions are higher. So these are things that might become a factor for both teams. Look at Santa Elena now poised to winning this first game of our gold medal series. Let's see if Signal can help it. That was tough, really, for Isai Marasiga just making do with that uh, bump set coming from Suarez. And the Nationals really was given all the time in the world to position themselves and to just read the timing and to counter that hit by Marasiga. Santa Elena, many, many chances for match point here as Diao serves. And it looks like it's going to be a check ball, is it? Not even. <laughs> that is clean. And that was an easy win in this fourth set for NU. 25-18 is the count. This is the widest uh, difference that we've seen. And Signal just I don't think they knew what hit them in this fourth set deal. A well-deserved win for the Nationals. You can see the pressure on the side of the Signal HD Spikers. And you can see the frustration in their faces. And uh, right now, the Nationals will get the first game of our gold medal match here in our 2022 Spikers Serve Open Conference. It's an all-important first game win in our best of three finals. And NU Santa Elena continues their streak. They have been uh, just winning uh, the, all of their games in succession here. 
at the Spiker Surf, and it looks like they are coming in with a better chance. The Spiker Surf Open Conference Grand Finals. Earlier, we witnessed breathtaking volleyball plays between Signal HD Spikers and NU Santa Elena Nationals, in which NU Santa Elena emerged as victors in four sets. Here with me is player of the game, Nico Almendras, yet again, with 20 points, 17 attacks, two blocks, and one ace. Congratulations, Thank Nico. Hindi na to semifinals. Finals na to, coming to this game with all your progression individually and as a team. Sinabi niyo sa akin na sayang naman kung hindi niyo pa makuha yung gold. And ngayon, you are one step closer to that goal. How does that feel? Uh, yun, sobrang saya. Uh, isa na lang. And pagkatrabaho at pagkatrabaho namin para makuha yun. At kita namin talaga yung hard work niyo in-game as well. So with regards to your adjustments, your setter was in the midst of sitting down due to muscular cramps. And I know the rest of you are also wearing out due to fatigue. Anong gagawin ninyo in order na maibsan itong mga sakit? Uh, sinasabi ko kay Iowa na pre, konting taste na lang. Konti na lang yan. Matatapos at matatapos na yan. Makakapahinga ka na. Yan. And you said earlier sa akin nga, tiyaga talaga ang kailangan nyo para yes. manalo. Congratulations again. Thank May gusto ko bang batiin? Uh, binabati ko po yung family ko, si Mama, si Papa, yung kapatid ko, si James, si JB, yung Almendras family, Hernandez family, and TPI family, uh, and yung girlfriend ko, si Justin. Maraming maraming salamat. Yes, congratulations again, Nico, and to the rest of the NU Santa Elena Nationals, and let's go back to the panel. You know, I can imagine the Almendras family now really so proud of Nico and just all throughout this uh, tournament, actually. And uh, that's been the story. It's a four-set win by the NU Nationals. Tired, fatigue, cramping, but still just really well, for pushing through and actually just leaving signals stunned. They look like they don't know what hit them. Yeah, and the NU Nationals just stick to their game plan and uh, dinaan talaga sa blocking lalo na sa tail end yeah. ng set number 4 it was a good thing that it ended in set number 4 because if it reached 
the fifth set, may hirapan itong si Joshua Retomar to still play for the Nationals. But Nico Almendras definitely did not disappoint, yeah. making sure that he got the same output that he had in their previous outing. And looking at the team statistics in set number four, and you had more attacks, had more blocks, and had more serves. And that was pretty much the story of this entire ball game. Signal was very erratic. It seemed like they were a uh, deer in the headlights. Yeah. Na parang bago sila Tama. dito sa championship round of the Spikers serve, even though they already had uh, two titles already. And uh, it was just really NU who came up big in game one of our finals. And uh, just uh, looking at the, the numbers all together, and just looking at how NU has come up from the beginning of this conference to where they are now, just the maturity and just how much these boys have grown and really what more they have in store for them and what we can expect from them as uh, they get ready also to play for the UAP. But again, let's not get ahead of ourselves. They have to conquer first, uh, signal another time if they want to go home with a goal. We are talking about the, uh, the current champion, so it's not going to be an easy road there. These uh, are the games that we have in store for you. October 1, that's just a couple of games away. Tuloy tuloy po ang volleyball dito sa Spikers Turf. Of course, uh, Navy Sea Lions going up against VNS1 Alicia at 2.30 p.m. for game two of their fight for the bronze. And at 5.30 p.m., we have the uh, rematch or the second of our uh, uh, best of three finals between Signal and NU. It has been enjoyable, it's been exciting, and we promise you more of that here from the Paco Arena. We thank you for joining us on behalf of Neil Flores and Ait Insai and all the men and women of Signal Sports. This has been Chiki Ropuno. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.